Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing something that I'm very excited about. I'm doing an unboxing slash first impressions of a foundation that I've never heard of until recently. It is by Il Maquillage. I hope I'm saying that right. I've been seeing ads on Facebook for this particular foundation for a while now. So Il Maquillage does this really cool thing. I'm not sure if it's just with foundation or if it's with all their products. They do a try before you buy idea. So I'm going to read you the email that they sent me. So basically it says, Dear valued customer, foundation is the most important piece in your beauty routine, but also one of the hardest to purchase. Regardless of whether you're shopping online or at a crowded makeup counter, how do you even know if the shade or formula is right for you until you give it the true test at home? You don't. We know your standards are too high for that. Ours are too, which is why we're proud to be the first brand to bring you a better way to buy foundation. Try before you buy. We've simplified every part of the tired process by taking the guesswork out of finding your perfect match and giving you 14 days to try it for free. Our mission is to give you the quality you demand without ever compromising on the flawless experience you deserve. Enjoy your foundation on your terms, no strings attached for 14 days. I hope you're as obsessed with it as I am. I think that's pretty cool. I always find that buying foundation online is very difficult to get your right shade and to make sure the finish is what you're looking for. And a lot of places don't let you return it once you've opened it. So I have here the foundation and a primer. I have not opened anything yet, which is why I'm saying it's like an unboxing and a first impressions because it's still in the box, which this packaging is very nice. Um, it came in a nice black, like bubble wrapped package, which was also very nice. Um, so I'm going to open this up now. So the inside of the box says untraditional, uncompromising, undeniably extra, which I love because I feel like I relate with that on a whole nother level. Then you've got this little Il Maquillage New York. It just kind of goes over everything about the foundation for you. Um, and then it tells you all about the try before you buy thing. So that's cool. And then it's got a few reviews on the back. And so I got a foundation and a primer. Both I have not paid for yet. You only pay for the shipping. You get 14 days to try them and then you decide if the shade and the, you know, the coverage is right for you. And if you want to keep it, then they charge your card. If you don't, you send it back. Got here the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation in this cute little box. Obviously it's in here, but that's adorable. And then we've also got the Il Maquillage No Filter Poreless Base Smoothing Primer, which I'm excited to try. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is my mirror. Um, I'm going to need it to put the foundation on. That's why you're wondering what this nonsense is. I apologize for that. I'm not someone who normally uses primer, so I am a little nervous because I usually don't like them, but I'm going to try it just for the sake of the video. And if I like it, then that's great. Without the primer first. Ooh, this is really pretty. Sorry if I'm blinding you, but this is just all so shiny. So we've got the primer in here and we've got the foundation in here. And this is a beautiful bottle. It's like a frosted glass bottle. And it's also got a pump, which is fantastic. The thing with the foundation is they have you take a quiz. I think it was about 10 questions where they ask you about your skin tone, your skin type. Um, they also ask you what foundation you have been using so they can match the shade to this shade. So I told them about the Bare Minerals uh, Skin Rescue Complexion Rescue something. I told them that I was using that and what shade I was using. So hopefully this should be a perfect match for me, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the primer. And then actually, let me read you the description of the primer before we get started just so we can see what this is supposed to do for me. Also, keep in mind, Il Maquillage is only sold online, which is why they do the try before you buy kind of thing. Um, and they do accept returns, obviously. But only, I believe, only within that 14 day period. Okay, so this primer claims to give you a soft, smoothing texture, minimizes the appearance of pores, fills fine lines and wrinkles, gives makeup some serious staying power, controls shine without ever drying out the skin, velvety finish, and cruelty free. So all of those things sound great. Uh, so we'll give it a try. I'm just gonna pump a little bit into my hand and put it, I'm not gonna put it everywhere. I'm gonna put it probably on my forehead, my nose, and like my, like this part of my cheek area, just because I don't think it's necessary to go everywhere. 
so it did take a while to come out. I cut a lot of me pumping this out. Um, so it's kind of just, I know you probably can't see that, it's clear, which is interesting because a lot of pore filling primers have like a skin tone color to them. So I'm just gonna warm it up in between my fingers and put it, like I said, in those specific areas where I think I need it. I feel like I put a lot on I get a lot of forehead wrinkles and my foundation creases a lot there so I'm interested to see how that works and then I always get a little cakey around my nose. So, Step one complete and then let me read you what the description of the foundation is so we can see what this claims to do. This has 50 shades for all skin tones, which is great because a lot of makeup companies don't have colors for every skin tone. Lightweight texture, buildable medium to high coverage, natural matte finish, optically corrective powders, enriched with vitamin E for anti-aging benefits, hyaluronic acid for hydration, protection and filling wrinkles, 100% cruelty free for long lasting wear, pair with a primer or setting spray. So it doesn't say how long it's supposed to last, but it does say long lasting. So I guess we'll see, but there's nothing really to compare to. A lot of foundations will claim to be for eight hour wear. You can wear it for eight hours, see if it works. Most people don't wear makeup that long. There's a lot of foundations that say, oh, you can wear it for 24 hours. Who wears makeup for 24 hours? Probably no one. So for the sake of the first impressions, I am going to do half of my face with a beauty blender and half with a brush. I almost always use a, a beauty blender or some kind of sponge to do my foundation. That's just what I prefer, but I know a lot of people don't use a sponge. They either use their fingers or a brush to each their own. That's fine. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to see if there is a difference between the sponge and a brush. I'm just going to get my hair out of my face. Ta-da! Now I look like a boy. So I always take my nose ring out when I do my foundation because I don't want it to get all gunky and weird up in here. Uh, I don't know if that's TMI, but so if you're wondering why that's gone, that's why. Typically with foundation, I pump it out onto my hand and then dip my beauty blender or a brush onto my hand. Um, I just don't like, I don't know, I don't like to like pump it directly on there because then if I have too much, then I don't know, you never know. So we're gonna pump it out onto my hand. Hopefully it's the right color. So I've got two pumps out onto my hand. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. It's super bright, okay. And it seems, if, as you can tell, uh, pretty liquidy. It's running down my hand, which may be good or bad. A lot of times liquidy foundations will get soaked up by the sponge and then you end up having to use more. So this might be better with a brush, but we'll see. So this side of my face we'll do with a sponge. And I apologize, I'm gonna have to look down to do this because I can't look up here to do my makeup. You know what I'm saying, okay. Um, so it's kind of, sort of, the right color. I can get away with it for sure. It's got decent coverage. It does say that it's, I think it said medium, buildable medium to full coverage. So I put two pumps on my hand. I don't know if you're going to even be able to see a difference in the sides of my face. I hope so, because I can see a difference in the mirror. So as you can see, I look a little nuts, which is fine, but so this half of my face now has one layer of foundation on it and this has none. It's definitely, you can definitely tell a difference clearly. My scarring is pretty much covered. Um, there are a few things that I would cover up myself, but before I go in and do maybe either another layer or concealer, I'm going to do my first layer with my brush over here. So I'm only going to do one pump with the brush just because I think the brush is going to distribute the product better than the sponge only because the sponge does soak up more. So I'm just going to dip that into here and... So I definitely think just off right off the bat that I like this much better with a brush which actually really surprises me because I hate using brushes for my foundation I should say. I think the formula is too liquidy for a sponge. 
and I think the sponge absorbs a lot of it. Okay, so one layer, done. This side with a sponge, this side with a brush. I know it's kind of hard to see and I feel like I just look like washed out and shiny. Um, maybe if I turn my light down a little bit, you can see, let me see. Okay, I don't know if this makes a difference at all, but I feel like I like this side much better so far, which shocks me because I despise using a foundation brush. I don't hate this side, but I definitely think I like this better. I am going to go in with another layer. I would probably normally on an everyday basis stop here and just start concealing, but I want to see how buildable this can be. So I'm going to turn my light back up and we're going to go in for some more. So I'm just going to do one pump again. I'm going to go in with the sponge and just kind of, I'm not going to do an entire full layer, but I am going to build up this cheek area because I do have some scarring that's still peeking through and see how well it covers it. Okay, so that's another layer. It definitely did cover this up a little bit more, and it doesn't look too cakey with a second layer, but I will obviously still have to go in and spot conceal this spot. I find that this one is just really dark, and I have to do that with a lot of foundations, so it might not be the foundation's fault. But I am going to go in it with what's left on my hand uh, with the brush and go over the side. Okay, so there is two layers on both sides of my face. I actually, I really like the way that it looks. I'm not a huge fan of the sponge side, which again, really, really shocks me. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on when I have two layers of foundation, so that's good. It's very light. I would definitely say it is a natural finish. Um, I don't feel too dry or too matte, and I don't feel overly oily or dewy, so that's great. I'm going to quickly do the rest of my makeup, and by quickly, I mean it's going to look quick, but it's going to take me a little bit. I'm just going to finish that up, and then I will... Come back with you okay so i have finished my makeup clearly a few things about the foundation i actually really like the way it looks my skin looks really like skin i know it's hard to see obviously i feel like the camera makes anything look pretty decent but like i'm all up in here and i think it looks really good i do notice that on and I don't know if it's because of the sponge versus the brush thing, but up in this area in my nose on the sponge side, it does look a little cakey, whereas it doesn't look that cakey over here on the brush side. So it might be the applicator or it might be that I put too much product in here. I don't know. So, but other than that, I think it looks really good. I am going to wear it for the rest of the day, and then I will check back in a little bit later. Right now, it is 12.30, so I'm going to check in before I take my makeup off, and I'll let you know how it lasted. But I really like it. Um, as far as the primer, I don't know. Obviously, I do, I see already some creasing in my forehead, but... My forehead always creases with foundation, literally always, no matter how much powder or primer or a little amount of foundation. I have apparently a very expressive face and I'm always raising my eyebrows, which is always making my forehead wrinkle, which is always making my foundation sink into my wrinkles. So there's that. I'm not mad about it. It's fine. I've come to accept it. So I don't think the primer is going to work for me in that aspect. Um, I do notice that my pores up in here and on my nose are filled in. I have larger pores in those areas, so I'm really happy with the way it looks. So 
I'll check back in with you guys in a few hours. See ya. And by see ya, I mean in two seconds, I'll be back. Eight hours later. Okay, so I am back. It's now 8.18 p.m. And I have some thoughts. So I didn't do a lot today at all. I cleaned my bathroom, I straightened up my room, I watched some TV. So not a very strenuous day of like sweating by any means, but it's still on. I do feel very oily. I don't know if you can see how shiny my forehead is. So I'd like to use some blotting paper and see how oily I actually am now that it's been on for eight hours. So here's the test. Uh, and that's pretty freaking oily. If you ask me, that's kind of gross. Now, to be fair, I don't normally blot, um, but that is pretty oily. have these for just in case but that is pretty significant if you ask me and pretty freaking gross um, now that I've done that my forehead is clearly not as shiny anymore so that's good to know that I can just blot it away and in my mirror it doesn't look like it has done much to the foundation two layers is not ideal for me I think it looks like I have makeup on my face. From here, I think it looks great. From far away, I love it. When I get up close in the mirror and I'm really like examining my skin, I see it sitting on top of my skin, which I'm not a fan of. So I do like it, but I also don't like it if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. I will definitely continue to use it. I'm going to purchase it. As far as the primer, I'm probably also going to keep that just because I think that it definitely helped my makeup stay for sure. I will only be using one layer from now on. Of course I did only do two just to see how well it builds and it does build. I just think that the more you put on the more you see it on your skin, but I feel like that's the case with any foundation and any product in general. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on how I'm feeling about the foundation. Be on the lookout to see if it is in my August favorites. I know that August is almost over, but if I use it every day for the next till August is over, then I'll definitely know how I feel about it and I'll let you know in the next video. So that's all I have. Side note, if you would like to see this eye look, let me know in the comments. It was really easy. It was only using three eyeshadows and two different palettes. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see from me next. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!